Hi there, this is Hans Fashner with Napkin Engineering. This is a short video on uh, setting control device markers uh, for the uh, SoundPlan 7.4 version with the implementation of the Traffic Noise Model 2.5. The control markers uh, set um, markers for traffic lights, stop signs, uh, on-ramps and um, toll barriers. And uh, the implementation um, or the, the setting of these control markers is done in the geo database. And uh, here in the geo database, uh, we have this is an example of uh, two roads intersecting, and we have uh, some traffic lights right here. And um, so here we can see the details of the different lanes for each direction. There's a west eastbound and north and southbound uh, lanes. And um, we have, like in this case, this is the westbound traffic. Uh, let me go to this marker here. The double circle indicates there is a marker set at this point, and there's a second marker, the following marker right here. The first one is to set a control device. The second one is to basically end the effect of that control device. So let me open up uh, this input of this road. So here we have um, the, the eastbound traffic. On the emission tab, there we have all the traffic information and uh, vehicles per hours and percentages of medium heavy trucks and so on. Under the tab speed and surfaces, we have the control device. So here this is the marker of the control device that was set. For each of those control devices, uh, we have two parameters, the constraint speed and the affected percentage of vehicles. Um, for stop signs, of course, the effect of vehicles is always 100%. For traffic lights, uh, it can range. Uh, in this case, we have it set to 50%, uh, meaning that 50% is unaffected. The traffic uh, flows through without any change in terms of the emission. And of course, uh, the other 50% is affected by the constraint speed of zero uh, kilometers per hour. That assumes that uh, half of the traffic uh, with all the different combination of uh, automobile, medium, heavy trucks, buses, and so on, uh, start at zero speed and they accelerate. The acceleration goes to the next marker, uh, to the next point where the marker is uh, removed. So if I go to the next coordinate right here, and you can see that the marker is uh, removed and it's basically back set to no uh, non control device. And so this is kind of the point where we are right here. And uh, so in between these two points, uh, SoundPlan assumes a acceleration at full throttle. The uh, emission uh, for each of these vehicles have uh, throttle emission data. And uh, so let me show you that. In the library, we have um, emission data uh, for the uh, uh, road traffic right here and so let me show that so here we have the throttle data for each of the traffic types and so the upper lines they are the <coughs> the uh, full throttle emission data and uh, the lines below that are the ones uh, with accelerate uh, at whatever speed at uh, free flow and so you can see that the differences can be easily uh, five, six decibels depending on the vehicle type. Here it's uh, uh, almost uh, 16 decibels for automotive, uh, heavy trucks. Um, so we are looking at about six decibels and so on. Um, you calculate um, or you do the calculation and then in the graphics, uh, this is an example of um, this interchange uh, with traffic lights and without traffic lights. So here the top contour map shows uh, the contours without traffic lights. The one that is below shows the ones with traffic lights. I set some uh, symbols here to indicate the traffic lights. And then we have here at the top we have uh, a difference map that shows kind of the overall effect of the traffic lights. This is, of course, uh, dependent on the traffic mix. 
uh, as you saw earlier, the throttle, uh, the difference between throttle mode and uh, free flow at a certain speed uh, can be quite different for the different uh, vehicle types. And <clears throat> so in this case, uh, for this interchange, the differences range from uh, one to about uh, five decibels, uh, depending on, uh, of course, uh, the direction or location of the receptors. And then, of course, uh, this is also uh, dependent on the information uh, of or the vehicle input or percentages of medium heavy trucks and automotives. Uh, thank you for listening and if you have any questions uh, please uh, feel free to contact me. Thank you and bye.